Hey everybody, Sean here from VigameAct.com. Welcome back to another episode of VigameAct vs. Imports. Today we are doing yet another visual novel in the form of Pia Carrot 4. In this particular video, we will be covering the starting out as well as the prologue, the settings you need, and basic rules of how the guide is going to work. So as soon as you put the disc in and then start up the game, you should unlock your first gamer pick right here. Then you are going to get to the main menu. You want to scroll down all the way to the bottom, which is going to be your settings. Now, if you are new to visual novels, you know that you have to adjust your settings in order to get the game done as quick as possible. Make sure you turn that fourth option green by hitting A. Then go to these sliders. You want to hold A and then drag both of them all the way to the right. This will ensure that your fast forward speed is fast enough so you can get through the game as quick as possible. Leave the sliders on the right side alone. And then what you want to do is you want to turn off all these options except for that second one right there. So basically, you just want the second one green and then everything else is going to be white. As soon as you have those, just hit the B button to back out and then what you want to do is you want to start up a new game. Head to the top of the menu and then hit A on the first option. It's going to ask you to pick your costume. You can pick whatever you want, but basically this is how your characters are going to look from here on out. So I just picked the middle one because it's the default one. Then the game's going to ask you yes or no, hit yes, and then let's get started. So, a quick little rundown on how this guide is going to work. Since this game has so few achievements, I will actually be splitting this guide up into different playthroughs. So, there are going to be a total of 9 playthroughs plus the prologue for 10 parts. Then, those guides are going to be split up into days on the calendar. And how this is going to work is each one of those days has certain choices you need to make. If you played visual novels, you should know how this works. But I'm going to split it up into different days so the list doesn't get cluttered since there's a lot you have to do in each playthrough. So hopefully this alleviates some confusion. So if you just need a specific date, just skip to that time code in the video. And hopefully that should make things a lot easier to follow. So, onto the prologue. The prologue is going to cover the first two days in the game, July 26th and July 27th. On both of those days, there's going to be four choices each, respectively. So, this is how it's going to work. Once you start up the story, all you need to do is just hit right bumper. That should fast forward the game. You don't need to hold it in the game. Just hit it once and the game should auto fast forward. The game also automatically stops whenever a choice has to be made. So, this is how the choices work. The game gives you a list of choices you need to make to dictate where the story is going to go. And you need to pick the correct ones in the correct order in order for you to navigate the story in a place where you can get an achievement. I'll have the correct choices up on screen in the right order and it's up to you to follow along in that correct order. So choice one is always going to be on the top and it's going to go in descending order. So the bigger numbers are going to be working towards the bottom, basically reading from up to down. And all you have to do is just uh, hit right bumper once. The game will auto stop whenever you need to make a choice. Once the game stops, make sure you make the correct choice and you should be good. And then all you need to do is just pay attention to the days. And whenever the date changes, the list should switch out on the video. And you just need to follow along accordingly. So hopefully you don't get lost. And it's very hard to get lost in this prologue since this prologue plays very, very simple. Since there's simple choices to be made, either A or B choices. And that's pretty much it. Enjoy the guide!
All right, the prologue should come to an end once you start July 28th. The prologue is going to also give you an achievement for finishing it for 100 gamer score. We're going to stop the video here. This video will pick up again as we technically start our first playthrough, which will continue off this guide. So if you're doing this in linear order, make sure you watch that. And as always, stay tuned for more as we get through this game.